Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, The Truth Hurts. I'm Andrew the Love Doctor, and I specialize in breakups and catching people creeping lying and cheating in relationships. Today I'm going to be discussing a very important matter. Today I'm going to discuss Red Flag number 291, Lillard's Law. As of now, we nearly completed the 1,000 signatures requested to make a bill for Congress to be considered a statute. To this date, we have 742 signatures with 346 comments of survivors globally responding with life stories as to why they want to see this law implemented. However, someone mentioned to me, a bill of this importance and magnitude should have at least 20,000 signatures. If you add all the followers of YouTube Live Coaches, that figure easily totals 100,000. 100,000 people complaining how they've been used and abused, yet doing nothing about it. This law we're trying to implement needs to be backed up by an outstanding outcry. The American government, judges, lawyers, doctors, therapists, news media, workforce, families, entertainment industry, all recognize the epidemic of narcissism in the Western culture. So why aren't there more signatures for this petition? I'm going to keep it real with you. And I'm going to break it down to you. There are several reasons why people are not stepping forward. Number one, people don't like me. They're sensitive. People don't like the way I say things. How I deliver my message straight up and truthfully. So let me get this straight. Because you don't like me, you're not going to accept help for yourself? This bill is not about me. This bill is bigger than Lilith than myself. This bill is retributive justice to anyone who suffered at the hands of a narcissist by paying for psychological therapy for emotionally raping you, compensating you for financially crippling you, and suing the perpetrator for infidelity that destroyed your life investment of marriage. Are you going to be that stupid, and in this case, stupid is spelled S-T-O-O-P-I-D because the correct spelling diminishes the insult? To let your feelings towards me interfere with your recovery and rewards? Ask yourself, what are the life coaches that you like doing for you? Where most of them if you don't pay them, you can't even get to talk to them. I'm someone working for free. Trying to help you. And you don't want to help me. Life coaches should be working together to encourage subscribers to support this petition. Because recovery will become simplistic since the narcissist didn't get away without being punished. Which most survivors desire. Remember, the number one cry look up criteria on YouTube is revenge. If you look at the Cheetah's reality show, almost every episode, there's a fight during the confrontation segment. People fight because they want revenge. When they don't know how to get revenge, they lash out. What better way to get revenge on someone than to make them pay? It's the same revenge tactic women use with child support. Ask any woman if she doesn't feel better receiving child support. Number two, many people feel this bill can't be passed because you can't make narcissism a crime. It's only wishful thinking. Remember Obama? It was also only wishful thinking that America would have a black president. The law is already in Europe. If Europe has the law, England, Ireland, the United Kingdom. Google emotional abuse to become illegal under new domestic abuse law. Ross Rosenberg is busy telling people I'm making shit up. Yuck. 
can't make this shit up. I just found this morning, just this morning, go to my timeline on Facebook, Andrew Benjamin, you must be a friend to access my account, or Google, five years in jail for men who emotionally bully wives. New law will target bullies who control partners with cohesive and controlling behavior. Bullies who emotionally abuse partners face up to five years in prison. Under laws coming into the force today, anyone who inflicts psychological cruelty on the other halves can be persecuted. Even if there's no direct physical harm. For the first time, domestic part abusers who stop short of lashing out at their victims will be targeted with a new offense. Where there is evidence of cohesive and controlling behavior. Don't tell me this can't be done. The law is already in New York. Prime example. You can sue the person that your mate cheated with under alienation of affection. Problem is, the average person doesn't know of its existence. And only rich people use it because only lawyers know of it. Number three, many people feel the narcissist will utilize the law against them. Duh! That's what lawyers are for. Lawyers, judges, psychologists are skilled separating sense from nonsense and making a judgment call. That's all they do. That's why they get paid so much. They're paid to think. Which is something many of you can't do. Apply logical reasoning. Many of you are ignorant. I'm keeping it real. You think it's easy to be logical? You need common sense for that. And in today's world, common sense is not so common. This is why when you go to court, first thing you do, get a lawyer. If you get a good lawyer, your case should be easily won. Because narcissistic deeds cannot be hidden. Prime example. I'm still awaiting a defamation of character lawsuit from all of them. I'm not afraid. Why? Because everything, everything I'm saying is true. Proven with words, deeds, dates, witnesses, documents, text messages, phone calls, pictures, videos, even medical records can be submitted. Since narcissistic abuse now shows up on CAT scans, my results would show my brain's fried like chicken. Of course doing these videos keeps me tied to Lilith, but I'm dedicated to helping those suffering like I am. From the narcissistic mind fuck. If you notice, the YouTube narcissistic community is growing at an astronomical rate. I'm dedicated to making people aware of these monsters. Because if someone made me aware of narcissism, I would have never went back to Texas. And suffered as I did at the hands of that monster. Number four, people are not understanding this bill is nothing but a first draft. And I must say I did my best. I placed the thoughts of what should become law. Then find a prestigious law firm to work pro bono who want their name attached to this law and hammer out the legal details and format. Finalizing it to be submitted to Congress so Congress can hammer it to become a statute law. Unlike the convention where it was sabotaged by Kill Jezebel, Ken Wilson, and Ross Rosenberg, it's just me and this endeavor. So I don't have to protect my co-workers. 
my associates will be lawyers and kill Jezebel is not going to be stupid enough to act like she's from the district attorney's office investigating a scam and half flying monkeys bombard the lawyers with harassing phone calls, emails, and insults. They can't intimidate me. I went back to school to become a psychologist. To be taken seriously. I made the dean's list in the first semester. Within three years, I'm expected to have my four-year degree. Two years for my master's. One year for lawyers to hammer out the details. One year to walk the bill to Congress. I'm doing my part. All you have to do is sign the petition and share the bill. So stop complaining what your narcissist did to you and do something about what they done to you. I'm humbly asking you, ask your favorite life coaches and therapists why they are not supporting a bill that will help you. So the question now becomes, since I'm helping you, why aren't you helping yourself? Inquiring minds want to know. I will be addressing all comments of this video. Thank you in advance for your help.